Hello, we thought we'd try something a little different that we don't usually do, and that's some vlogging. So this is a Creeping Things vlog, welcome. Um, so we're got out here in Southern California, where we always are, because we live in Southern California. Got uh, Ian with me, of course, and my buddy Nathan Edwards, and my dad, known as the old guy. And that was a fly hitting me in the face. <laughs> and uh, Nathan couldn't help himself, Nathan Edwards. He got here before us, started herping before us, and he already got this. A uh, beautiful little baby striper. That's a striped California king snake. And uh, here's the felon. <laughs> the one did it. Yeah, it was a beautiful little guy. Probably about what do you say? Just a juven juvenile. A few months at the most. A few months at the most. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. But pretty, pretty neat. Kind of looks like a California striped racer. Yep. A I little can, bit. I can see that. <laughs> nice. Stay there, little king. Alright, we'll check cool. back in if we get anything else. Alright, see ya. There we go. Well, guess who just got another snake? Been here quite a while now. And lifted a ton of rocks. And Senor Edwards has found a little nice... Well, I don't know about nice. It's, it's not so a, nice. A little, <laughs> not so nice tempered. He's, he's getting nicer. Gopher snake. That's the first one gopher I've actually had hiss like as soon as I lifted the rock. <laughs> He's very skinny. Hiss and bite, apparently. Yes, and bite my thumb thing. Didn't really hurt. Well, that's two for today. I'm gonna get yeah. bitten in the face. Watch this. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's, He's already settled. Do it. That's what gophers do though. <laughs> they settle some they just settle down once they know that you're not trying to bite eat them. Alright, hopefully we'll check back in with something else shortly. Well, we've had an eventful day. Uh, my buddy lost his backpack and <laughs> snake tongs, and we spent quite a while looking for that. Actually, he lost it while we were trying to take some pictures of two coyotes, and we are trying to kind of corral the coyotes, and maybe got one or two halfway horrible shots. But anyway, um, we did. <laughs> I digress. We finally found another snake, the third snake of the day, and it is a tiny little night snake. So let's see. Okay, this is the biggest find of the day, and it's worth the most points. We, we award one point for king snakes. No, no, two points for king snakes. One yeah. point for gopher snakes, two for rosies, and ten points for each night snake. And uh, I'm winning. Just kidding. It's, it's going back under a rock here in a second. There, for size reference. I feel like the kings are just down in this valley. Well, I got my hat off right now because. Am I recording? Yes. You found a king snake. <laughs> that guy just said it. I finally found a king snake today. Usually they're very black and like a almost white yellow when they're babies, and then they get to be in the in the coast like this. They get to be more of a lavender or a brown as they get older. But this is a baby that is very brown. What do you it's, think, dude? It's the third king snake we've had in this. Uh, very king snake pond. place. This is the fifth king snake in this in particular this location. In two weeks. Mm. I think stripers are worth one extra point. This is way more brown than yeah, no, Nathan's. It's definitely different. Yeah. See, Let's compare couple, the two. Take a couple shots. So check out the color difference on these two king snakes found today. There we have more of the typical dark coloration up here towards the top. And we've got this lighter colored baby down here at the bottom. Really cool. Really cool Very. variation, yeah. This is almost a perfect stripe on, on both of them, really. Yeah. Down towards the tail, towards the tip of the tail, we got some dashes and dots. Typical, but cool. Well, that was quick. We just found another king snake. There's a banded one here. Very king here. Not a big one, a little banded guy. So we've caught two stripers and a bandit now? Yeah. 
Yep. So that's four banded to. So last time we were in this location, we found three banded. This time we find two striped and a banded. So we found six king snakes and two trips out here. Uh, really good spot, good location. Nice. All right, so the day's almost over. We're almost out of daylight. If we find anything else, we'll check back in. All right, this is a weird one to maybe end the day on, but I found a piece of the snake under a rock. It's the tail of a night snake, which is, night snakes are pretty small to begin with, but this is just the tail, and it had some ants on it I brushed off. It's not that old, maybe a couple of days old, maybe a week. Um, check this out. Definitely one of the weirder things that I've seen. A piece of a night snake under a rock. Don't know if the ants got it or what, but weird. Okay, this might be the last find of the day. Check it out. Not uncommon, but still cool. This is the western toad. This one is big and strong and tough. Look at these arms, they're so big. He is here to pump you up. So, you can tell by the dorsal stripe. Uh, right now, doesn't want to turn around. Let me try that again. You can tell by the dorsal stripe right there that that's the regular California subspecies western toad. And he's a big one. Look at him. Oh, he's crying for his mommy. He says, put me down or I will tear your arms off and make you eat them. And Ian thinks I'm hilarious, obviously. Ian, you want to hold him? No. <laughs> no, not really, because toads always pee on you. All right, this. Toxic. Yeah, he is slightly toxic. He has those big parotid neuroparatoid glands there. All right, this could be the last find of the day. I'm going to let him go. Okay, I lied about the toad being the last thing of the day. Toad? Yeah, there was a big fat western toad under a rock. Nice. But uh, oh, now nice we got one more king. Check him out. This place is pretty kingy. It's very kingy. He's got a little bit of aberrant. Oh, yeah. Pattern. A couple dots. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that will be the last thing of the day. Right here? That is number six. Okay. I lied. I said that was the last snake of the day. Wow, well, I can't see us. There we go. I said that was the last snake of the day. There we go. It wasn't. This is horrible video. That's what this is. This is the California striped racer. And uh, she's probably going to bite Ian now, and then we're going to drop him. All right, cool. That's the last snake of the day. Now we're going. Bye bye. Well, that was a lot of fun. We got a lot of kings. We uh, saw some other snakes. It was a good day. Uh, it's always fun getting out and exploring God's creation. We just want to uh, encourage other people to get out, check it out, check out God's creation. Just be careful, be mindful of your surroundings. Uh, go with somebody who, who knows what they're doing, if possible. And uh, if you want to see more of these vlog style videos, uh, just like and subscribe and we're going to start putting out more of this content. Uh, thank you guys for watching.